All right. Uh, we are back. Yesterday, uh, we opened our first time gate on our account, uh, and the champion I chose since since we got Briv in the event. We got fortunate with the event lining up with our start. Uh, I went with Crawl, and honestly, not not a bad first time gate, regardless, uh, because Crawl provides you both with pushing power and more gold find, which provides you pushing power. Um, so they're just a great overall champion and they, they can do solid stuff without any gear at all. They just have uh, solid base functionality. So they're a great, uh, first time gate. We did open up uh, a bunch of electrums and we got crawl into a green or better and then started popping those, those gold crawl chests. Uh, so we got a pair of blues here. We really want these two blue. But, you know, we'll take what we can get. Uh, now, the Creeping Chill um, is the variant that we, we have in a current time gates. You get a random variant. And it's either the area goal 75, 125, or 175. We got the, the most difficult one. And I'm not really sure if we can finish it or not. Uh, we only have 2.39 EO5 favor. Uh, and normally, for an area 175, I recommend you get... 5 EO8. <clears throat> We're a ways off. Um, we did try to push and get a bunch of favor in this run. Uh, we started off with like 2,500, and then we got to, you know, uh, 239,000. It was a good gain. Uh, we could do a free play, and I think that's what I'm going to attempt to do, is do a free play uh, to to get even more. Um, and see if we can get EO8, because this, if we just attempt this and fail, we're not going to get any favor either. Um, and then we'll just have to go do this anyway, and then come back to this, and that's a lot of time. So I'm going to be a little more efficient with my time, because I know, I feel like there's a problem here because of this restriction. Basically, every five areas, the enemies are going to double in health, and that's the big problem. The damage, uh, I mean, I just don't want them to get anywhere near me. Uh, but the doubling in health, <laughs> uh, not great. So we're going to hop into a free play. We're going to hop into a free play. Uh, we're not going to do anything fancy. It's just going to be a normal free play. I'm not going to use any potions or anything. We're just going to, we're just going to push. Cause I need, I need, I have a limited number of potions. Um, and I can't really waste them. Uh, we do have gold. This is going to be a main campaign thing. Cause we only have one main campaign, main campaign, all of these main campaign. We Really neat. Well, actually, you know what? I have 10. Somehow I got 10 click damage hour long potions. You know, we'll throw that down. Uh, we'll throw that down to start here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our champions in. Then I really just have to worry about spending my gold leveling up the champions. I don't have to worry about leveling up click damage because the fire breath potion is going to handle that click damage for me based off what my champions are doing. Uh, right. Hello, Nighthawk, Delcoon, Lelokan, Nubles, Shevik, Chaos. Welcome. Uh, I did get uh, my newsletter chest. I'm going to go pop that in. And then I'm going to go hit up uh, the hashtag combinations channel. So I know, I know at the very least this morning's tutorial show code will work for me. Uh, and also there was one that came in for a YouTube video. I'm going to grab that too, but I think this other one, I think that's it for today. I think this other one is going to be, uh, oh yeah, we already redeemed. Okay. Uh, so this is gear for Daddius, Brunor, Minsk, Miria, or Bayloth. So that, I've got three of those. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this. Good. I got a blue for Daddius. Excellent. And we have green or better gear on Crawl as well. So let's see what our next... Oh, pain! A pain blue! I would have preferred Pilfer, but you know what? Second best, pain. Second best pain. I'm going to hold on to those Electrums for now. For now. I hope that Varen is not the one we need to tier 4 in Crawl's event. It is! I mean, you have to tier 4 all of them. These are their event variants, so uh, all of these variant, all of the all of the variants that are possible. This would be the sixteen hundred. This would be area sixteen hundred. That's that's why some of these are just not viable. They need to 
We need to do something. But yeah, to get to 1600 with this, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, but that's exactly, that's exactly what it'd be. I mean, any of the variants would be a tier four variant. Um, but that's the 1600 one. That's the, Justin! Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, Krull is a Simril boy, so that's much later this year. Hopefully they've, uh, you know, figured out how to, how to best handle this kind of situation by then. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, again, we're going to be rocking Krull in this. Uh, it is his time gate. It is his time gate. Uh, but going forward now, this is, you know, I've been trying to do most of my uh, progression runs and stuff with core champions. But one of the things about picking up, uh, you know, event champions is they're, you know, hopefully they're better swaps for you uh, and help you push further. When we do favor runs from now on in anywhere, Krull will be in. This is, this is what he is for. He is there to help you. Uh, his biggest boost is helping you on favor runs and difficult variants. So we're going to want to use him to snowball our favor. That's why I was hoping for the pilfer one. Um, but we're going to need him uh, in the not so distant future. As once we finish, once we finish this time gate, we're going to go back to Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, we're going to need him there. We're going to need him there to get more favor. Mm, yeah. There we go. And this formation, oddly enough, as we found out yesterday, the best DPS for this formation with Crawl at my level of progress is actually Makos, which is like... Say what now? Uh, of the core champions, of the core and the evergreens, like with Hitch, but... Dritz wasn't bad. Dritz wasn't bad, but Mako seemed better. Uh, I don't think we have anything else that we've accrued that we can really use for progression. At this point... Oh, we've got some blacksmithing contracts. Uh, those are going to go on Briv, because we got Briv. Hey, the Briv or Humon should be an early time gate for you, and then should become your target. Or if you can pick them up in an event. Uh, and then should become... The, you pick one and make them your target for your blacksmithing contracts uh, to help you with your progression towards uh, unlocking Mert as a patron. A 2,000 total item, uh, equipment item levels. That's what eye levels are. And right now I'm at 1186, and, and a lot of that is on Briv. A lot of that is on Briv. Uh, that's definitely where the three time gate pieces are going, because once you unlock Mert, he'll sell you a time gate piece every week. So you get these back real fast. Uh, and we'll save, we'll save 10 silver chests. Uh, because we want to unlock Murd as quickly as possible. Again, just barely over halfway there on item levels, but I'm, I also don't have a lot of champions unlocked either. So we're weeks away uh, at the, at the more casual pace that we're playing this account, since I'm only progressing it on stream, we're weeks away from getting Murt. Uh, yeah, two to three weeks away. Hey, Thalo, your current Briv item levels are 11,305. Wow. What's that? What jump is that? I'm curious. Hey, Dance Lover. Five and a half. I feel like, isn't it like seven you want to get to? I don't know if six, if six jumps a thing. Is it seven you want? That you can then use to seven and eight? That you can get you to eleven, or it can get you to nine faster? One of those. 
thought it was seven. I could be wrong. Like I said, we need more. We need more people making guides about those specific intervals and how to make those intervals work for people. Is just trying to save up from four to get to nine is. That's a long, that's a long, long road. That's a hundred thousand average item levels. It's just not, not great. Had a four jump and throwing everything this minute into him, and wow, that diminishing return sucks. Yeah, that's well, that's the point. And they, you know, it was designed that way. And honestly, they they didn't they didn't make the curve bad enough. Clearly, <laughs> they didn't make the curve bad enough uh, to stop people from trying to go further. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, the first 100 item levels you put into a champion are the most efficient item levels that you can invest into them, and, and everyone should, at some point, eventually, make sure they have an average item level of 100 or better. But, um, but at least Briv continues to give a return on that investment, even if there is diminishing returns. Seven and eight of the first usable ones? Okay. Lydiath has all the numbers, but Lydiath needs to make guides with all the numbers. Nice. More than I wanted. That's the problem with a toffee bar. Sometimes it breaks off bigger than you wanted. Um, came close to biting off more than I could chew. Came real close. You know who might be really good with crawl? Dare I? Dare I Delina? Maybe. Maybe. So here's the thing, Jarlaxle is usually like the early kind of, especially a low favor run like this, is usually our best Bet for DPS, but combined with Krull, Jarlaxle doesn't do very well, because Krull wants to place a plague and then let that enemy live for a while to build up the power of that plague, which means that enemy then is sitting uh, in front of the tank, and Jarlax is only attacking everybody on the right-hand side of this. I guess it's the other way around for you guys, but uh, the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, so you got to find somebody else to DPS. Um... Like I said, we uh, 
We're using Makos yesterday to, to solid effect. The problem is, is Makos is a single target DPS that attacks at random. Not great. Random targets. Uh, Delana does have, well, she has three different base attacks. Her single target one hits a single random enemy, but her other two that she rotates through are are basically like a, one's an AOE and one's a line and based AOE. So much better situation for using with crawl. Maybe we bring uh, maybe we try out Delana. Worst case scenario, we just swap Delana out into make into a hitch and and use Makos DPS. This is what we keep, but we hold on to these potions of specialization for. So if we ever want to test something out in a run, we can. Want to make sure we're making good choices all along and don't accidentally, you know, make mistakes. Learn what the good specialization is for this like kind of formation and then learn how you need to change it for other situations. Improve runs through his stacks real quick. Once you get to 100% chance to skip an area, he starts burning. I mean, you're going to burn uh, stacks every time you complete an area, right? Um, that's the whole point of getting him to jump more areas is then, I mean, you're still going to burn a stack every time you complete an area. But if he's jumping more areas, you're going further with those, with the same amount of stacks uh, than you would have before. You need to get uh, crawl up to 50. 50 is where crawl's plagues start. That's where we start seeing the benefits of crawl. Until it's at 50, there's no benefit to having them in the formation. At all. Here's our DPS. Go, go, down on a DPS. Mm -hmm. Have a little baby two jump riv on your iPad account doing a loop to 273 and beast intentions. I mean, that's what uh, was it? Isn't that? Isn't that? Well, I think it was. Was it a three jump? Was it two jump or three jump that Lettyath was talking about? I thought it was three, but but anything above, uh, you know, a guaranteed one jump, 20% chance to jump two. You can find places to do it can find places to do it, and it'll still be better than uh, than a regular gem farm. So it is three, okay. That's what I thought. In between, I'm wondering if choosing uh, for the flex shots, the champs I use in my deep pushes just for the bonus is a good idea. Yeah. I mean, look, if, if you don't see a solid reason to pick some of the other champions here from the flex slots, but, but you look at, like, say, if you use Miri in your deep pushes, and you're like, I wouldn't mind uh, these bonuses for Miria, right? Um, then that's a valid reason to make that decision. If, you know, all things being equal, or if what you really want out of it is just progress in some things. Just know it's only going to last for how many more days? 50 more days from this point. So it's 60 days from the start of an event. we got 50 days left on those buffs. All right, we got Crawl the Plagues. That means every now and then... Crawl is just going to, uh, every five seconds, Crawl is going to apply a Draconic Plague to the next enemy to spawn. And it can be any of these. You'll see them spawn. There's, there's three different vials, and there's three different colors. And they shape, they're in the shape of a Y. So... The top left one is going to be like a, a purplish or magenta. It's it's the colors from from this. Uh, and that's Trader. The red one, which is the top right, is going to be pain. And the bottom middle is green. It's Pilfer. So Pilfer, gold, pain, more damage to that enemy. Trader, AoE damage to everybody else. Can help you wave clear quite a bit. 
quite a bit. Which would have been great with Makos if Makos attacked the nearest enemy. But because they attack a random enemy, we start building up dozens of enemies on the screen. It just may not hit the one with Traitor when he attacks. And he's got a slow attack speed, so... Really need a durable tank uh, to have a single target DPS that's attacking random enemies with crawl, because otherwise, you know, uh, that that tank's going to get rolled over before before you ever find the the traitor stack to proc some wave clear. Traitor sometimes feels like it's being treasonous against you. Yeah, it's a traitor both ways. It's a traitor to them and it's a traitor to you. Oh, look, I killed everything on the level but one mob and now I can't kill them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that happens. That's why the best the best uh, scenario for you when you're using crawl is to have an AoE DPS. And hopefully you're hitting multiple things with traitor at the same time. Uh, but otherwise, it's just kind of RNG, and if you get stuck with what we call, or what I call, leftovers, it's a crawl leftover. Um, you just you can restart the level, just back up, and then turn auto progress back on and do it again. And sometimes just the pure RNG of the way it clears things will kill everything. Hey, Niskis. There we go. Break, break the caramel bar or the toffee bar before it goes in your mouth. <coughs> hey, bunny beast. Honey Beast, thank you for 31 months. Much appreciated. I don't remember what, you know what? Hold on. I don't want to just guess. I think it's Beasts, but let me go to my Simril guide. It is Beasts, okay. I think I took monstrosities yesterday, and that was part of our problem in pushing. <clears throat> After 50, the next big milestone for crawl is 100. Uh, Virulent Strain basically allows you, gives you a chance that when you kill an enemy that has a plague, that plague will go to another enemy. And that means it's possible for an enemy to gain multiple copies of the same plague when this occurs, and each one is stacked multiplicatively. Which makes Crawl, mathematically, this is, makes a plague, it turns play, a draconic plague into a mathematically overpowered ability. Uh, or a mop ability. Uh, because multiplicatively stacking is the good way, and it boosts supply to the base value, so... Good times. It's very, very good times. It's lots of very good times uh, when that happens. Uh, so you can get to some pretty outrageous numbers. Um, you can get to some pretty outrageous numbers. Because if you look at this, uh, right now we're at 6.5% more gold per stack for Pilfer. Uh, yeah. Which means uh, 65% at 10 stacks, which, which is the cap. But then, uh, if you get 20 stacks, it's not just, you don't just keep adding it up and that's 130%. It's 65% times 65%. Right? Uh, and then if you get 30 stacks, it's times another 65%. And then 40 stacks times another 65%. <clears throat> it makes it makes things very 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 nice, very nice, very good. Yes, please. No, I missed it. 
busy down here. Uh, but because you can get those, uh, as you add more and more item levels, ultimately to Corolla, uh, again, he can do this multiplicatively stacking without any item levels, but as you add more item levels, that just ups the base value and that turns the numbers into really ridiculousness, uh, at much higher item levels and, and obviously rarities. And they've got feats to support that too, so... All around a pretty solid for uh, progression just in general because again it does that with pain too that's that was just gold but pain makes them take uh, you know 50% more damage per stack currently but at 10 stacks that's 500% which is a 6x so 6x you know six times your damage overall so 20 stacks would be 36x 36 times damage uh, 30 stacks would be 216 times damage, uh, and 40 stacks would be about 1,296% more damage. And that's just at my item levels. And it gets way, way better the higher up you go. Hey, Mean Keb. What's my second party doing? Jump. Uh, oh! How did I get? How did I get this? Oh, with crow. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't have a second party. Uh, I forgot this button arrived because we unlocked crawl. I was like, because we were only at five uh, extra. Once you get six uh, slots where you have two champions in each slot, this button shows up and it's your party button. Now you only have one party to start the game. Uh, but you can unlock a new party, but again, this this party is currently locked by completing a list of requirements. You can assign champions to a brand new party with its own Modron core. Well, that's not... that's this needs, This part needs to come out. Requirements complete, split the party. Well, unlock, split the party. Uh, you have to have two champions in every bench seat. I'm nowhere near that. I'm halfway there. Whoa, halfway there. Uh, and it's a very difficult variant, but it rewards another party. It rewards your modest Modron core. And it rewards four Modron component chests so that you can get pipes for that core. I I don't have any of that yet. This is weird. We're day 13. Day 13. Um, oh, that'll get me to 100. We'll go there. Let's get me closer to 250. Return Laxle. And we're on an ad break. And we're on an ad break. Let me reload that. There we go. So I do definitely need to uh, just obviously continue picking good champions and good bench seats when I have opportunities to unlock them. But that's why we chose Crawl, was I needed a second swap here. Uh, we got Regis from the event. We're going to get Rosie down here in 10 for the event. And then uh, we'll pick next event. We know we'll be getting a 1 and a 4 and a 7. For sure. We'll still need a 3. We already have a swap for 11. And our swap for 12 is going to be a Zaka that we'll be earning in Tomb of Annihilation. So we're, we're on a path. We just don't know where the slot three is going to come from yet. Maybe the new champion will go in slot three. I don't know. Actually, I don't think that's... I'm not sure that they can. I don't know. We'll see. Regardless, maybe they rework a champion slot three. I don't know. We'll have to get a slot three somewhere. We will have a natural time gate weekend, but between this event and the next one, maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get lucky. Uh, it's so weird seeing all the locked slots makes me nostalgic. I mean, locked. There's just nothing there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty empty. They're pretty empty. Okay, let me give us a little more pain.
Very we did, yay. I'm watching it like a hawk. I want these chests. Every time, yeah, I can buy a chest. Woo! It's a big deal. It's a big deal. What's my pity timer at? Oh. Next one. We get an epic on the next one. Hey, we got a Shara's Bond abilities right after we get Crawl. Great. But we'll still be using a Shara for, for regular pushing and stuff. Just not for the deep pushes. Just not for the deep pushes. So a Shara, full blue now. Fantastic. Fantastic. One of the ads I just got was for nerds. I think it's a sign. Next unlock for this account? No. Nerds take 100,000 gems. I was excited about getting to 500, so 100,000 isn't happening. Um, I, yeah, it's just not happening. Just not happening. Now let's go look at... I haven't done it. Oh, wait. I didn't want that to... I just wanted it to back out one. Where's equipment? Okay. Uh, Bruner's missing... So let me count my blues that I'm missing. Bruner's missing one. Uh, okay, so Jarlaxle's missing two. <clears throat> Clappy's missing two, so that puts us at five. Uh, Delna's missing one. Makos is missing two. Jamila's missing one. Archon's missing one. What that's 10. Uh, Hitch is missing one. No, Hitch is missing three. Uh, Dritzt missing one. We're just looking at Corn Evergreen here. I don't, I don't have any. I don't have any more Core Evergreen, right? We need 14? I thought we were lower than that. Yeah, all right. I thought we were way I thought we were doing better than that. Four or five. Six. No, I guess not. Alright. But still, so fourteen means uh we are forty seven. Seven seven thousand tokens? So there's seven thousand gems, is that what we need? Yes. So we need seven thousand gems. We're at eighty seven. Well, or Alcoria is not a, you know, Alcoria is a ways away. Dragon Bait is still a ways away. I mean we're we're still just on the way to Azaka. Um Oh, what do I want? So for Delana, uh, Font of Magic just kind of it does a thing with the extra damage on her, like her burn. I don't care about that. I want Tides of Chaos. This is Surge of Power. This is this is increasing her base attack damage. That's what we want for Delana. That's what we want for Delana. We just want her base attack damage doing more. So that Stone Golem looking unit. I think you're talking about them. That's Crawl. They're a turtle. This is this is a spiky turtle shell. Uh, that's who we're in a time gate. This is what we got. This is what we came for to this time gate for is to get crawl. So, uh, yeah, so this is a crawl time gate. So we're unlocking them in slot six because they're great for gold find and uh, power. We've got a nice uh, multiplicatively stacking debuff and a multiplicatively stacking gold find buff. Um, and those that's the good way. So we're trying to support that. We're trying to get that into our runs because early game that just helps us snowball our, our favor gain and our just pushing, deep pushing progression. Um, you know, and the more gold we can get in an adventure, the more favor we get from that adventure, the more favor we get, the more blessings we can buy. Which gives us more power in the in the adventures, 
which lets us push further and then crawl makes that bigger again. It's just, it just continues. Just continues. Uh, until you can soft cap your champions and then, then you got to look for something else. Still so new, so don't know many of these. That's totally fine. Totally fine. There's a, uh, there are a lot. There are a lot. There's 133 champions in the game currently, so. Uh, and then there's skins for them that make them look different, too. Where's the sweet spot between still buying gold versus starting by gem feats? Uh, you just you just don't. Um, I would say after your full epic, you could you could consider it. Um but you got to remember, like uh, it's it's twelve thousand five hundred gems to buy a, the cheapest gold uh, gem feed, um, and and there's no you know there's a reason it's twelve thousand five hundred. It's because that's the cost of twenty five gold chests, and there is a chance to get a gold chest feed because that's a whole other pool, and that's one in twenty five. There's no pity timer for it, but. So it's just overall on your way to trying to get full epic, all your gems need to be going into the gold chest because a you're getting you're working towards your epic gear on everybody, and b you're picking up uh, gold chest feats. Once you're full epic, there's still going to be a lot of gold chest feats for you to get. Um, but you know, there are certain feats you might then start looking at. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that's just generally speaking, those are kind of the rules, but, um, when it comes to speed champions, they might have feats that you want to invest in early simply because they're going to help you generate gems faster. Uh, and thus, you know, speed up your progress. I only watched the Dungeon Dragon cartoon from a long time ago. Uh oh. Yeah, Dungeon Master and Presto then would be the two recognizable champions. Well, uh, and War Duke and Strongheart. I think believe they made guest appearances on that uh, on that show. Oh, and you've been playing Baldur's Gate three, so yeah, the absolute adversaries would be recognizable. But yeah, there's also War Duke and Strongheart. So War Duke showed up as a bad guy in the old Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. I believe Star Strongheart showed up as his, you know, nemesis, the good guy, the good side. It's been a while since I've watched those, but I do recall looking that up recently. So I'm going to see more people from... Uh, War Duke's uh, evil friend group. Uh, let me see what they were called again. Now, if I really, you know, interesting name. That's not what I was thinking of. There's part of the Horn Society, but that's not what I'm. That's not what I'm thinking about. Group with Kellic in it. Let me look up Kellic. Why is the name of their bad guy? The League of Malevolence. There it is. I couldn't find it in here at all. Why not? So yeah, I would like to see the more of the League of Malevolence arrive in the game. Uh, giving War Duke an affiliation. And I'd also like to see more of whatever Stronghearts group is. They've got a They've got their own name, too. Valor's Call. There we go. Yeah, I think that would be neat. Just some throwback stuff for longtime fans of D&D. &D. It felt like that would have been a good, uh, you know, maybe a good path to go along in the 
the year of the 50th anniversary of D&D, but apparently apparently all they've planned is some uh, uh, OG familiars. Oh, like old school art familiars. Uh, yeah, Avenger is in the game as uh, an enemy. It, it could be interesting to see them at it as a as a champion. But right now, all we get Avenger as is an enemy and some specific variants. Yeah, I mean, War Duke is a boss. Dragon Bait is a boss. You know, there are, there are uh, champions that showed up in adventures as th as enemies you fight, as boss enemies you fight, that eventually made it in, into the game as a champion later on. But yeah, well, they they've pretty much made it clear that you're getting more of the Saturday morning squad because when they added Presto, they literally gave him the affiliation Saturday morning squad, and there's no one else in it, and that's not something they do. Even when they know, usually, that that they're going to be adding more, usually they don't give a champion an affiliation until at least one more of the members is in the game. Uh, but they did it right away with Presto, which tells me, highly likely, uh, we're going to see all of them in the, I guess, not-so-distant future, maybe? I don't know how long it's going to take. There's a number of them, but... Uh, yeah... But I think there's room, you know, like when they talk about, oh, there's a lot more champions to pull from. I mean, obviously there's more content creator champions that they're looking at uh, regularly, but but then there's more Saturday Morning Squad. There's there's the League of Malevolence. There's Valor's Call. They've already got a champion from each of these in the game, but no affiliation listed. Uh, and there's plenty of other just really cool classic D&D champions. Plus, they do see any originals every now and then to try to help flesh out like and make a more robust roster of, of races and classes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now remember, we specifically came into this run for a favor run. We started it at, uh, this is Mistress Favor, 239 EO5. Uh, we're only in the EO4 so far. We're going to have to clear area 200 to, to get a boost to see an increase, because that's about how far we went last time. But we should be able to cruise right by 200. Um, should be able to cruise right by 200. Because last time we just kind of, we, we snuck by, uh, but we had much lower favor, right? Now we have massively more favor. We should be able to get quite a bit further. Or actually, no, we didn't get past 200. We got to 173. Never mind. We should be able to get past 200. We got to 173 last time. That's right. It actually even tells us, or it told us, yeah. I see a reach this time, you get 173. I was thinking the other event. <laughs> I was thinking the event we're in and not uh, the time gate we're in. We just need to make sure we're getting a solid boost in favor so that when we try to get to 175, in the variant where every five levels the enemy health doubles that that eventually that we'll be able to get through it without running into a wall because they're they're too beefy because their health doubles and their damage doubles so we don't want them touching our tanks at all in that in that variant um and that means having lots and lots of favor lots and lots of favor yeah weekend buffs are not uh 
Uh, well, we got a Brunor. We got a Brunor rally. So we're at least getting triple triple rally. Uh, but chances of having uh, Daddyus or Minsk in the formation, probably pretty low. Probably pretty low. What do we got going on with Crawl? Oh, spec choice at 180. That's going to be nice. And we'll be doubling our gold find when we get there. Well, I don't have Miria, so... That saw doesn't help me. Just thinking about the, the champions I have that are going to help me on this push. It's, uh, just Bruno. Just Bruno, really. I mean, the, you know, the Minsk stuff is fine, but the thing about Minsk is uh, it doesn't, unless unless we happen to hit beast bosses, if the, if the boss is anything other than a beast, we're stopped dead in our tracks uh, at a certain point because Minsk just won't be able to damage it. We'll have to try to spike on a non-boss level. And then and then utilize another like a 15 minute fire breath potion at a higher end. For some reason the game's feeding us a lot of fire breath potions, and I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I, I would rather have speed potions. But uh, but fire breath are I mean they definitely can speed up your progress, so I don't hate it. Like, all the deaths here are happening from uh, Fire Breath Potions, not from the actual champions. I mean, it's not the worst weekend for new players. The way it works is usually there's at, le usually there's at least two champions that you're guaranteed to have if you don't have any of the others. And in this case, we actually have three. So... We actually have three. Will you need the heavy core? Heavy core? To carry my party with? Because my party's so heavy? <laughs> Is that why it's called the heavy core? Is that why you want to call a core the heavy core? To carry your heavy party with? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Shake the rock. No. Rock was a distraction. I wanted the gold from it. Sadly, this is the champion that probably will not ever get any use on this account. We'll see. Heavy Core sounds like one that comes out with a Brig rework, right? Right? Brig Hill Claw. All right, we're going Plague Focus Pilfer. We want that money. We're here for the money. Give it to us. Oh, the Strong Core? No, this, this account will never have a Strong Core. This account will never have a Strong Core. 500,000 gems is just well, not going to happen. Not gonna happen. This account is probably never gonna have a nerds either, so for that matter, and that's only a hundred thousand gems. Keep watching my pennants tick up, but until it hits 7,500, I can't do anything with them. And then when it does, I'm just buying a brief chest. Just buying a brief chest. Like usual. Did you say it's a modest account? That, I mean, this is just a free-to-play account. And, you know, I don't know uh, exactly how... I think, I think the idea with this one is to take it 
into the mid game. Normally when I do a free, uh, free to play account, like run a new account, um, I'm just trying to get to the mid game, which basically means complete Baldur's Gate, you know, light up trials in uh, Mount Tiamat. At that point, that's, that's kind of where I consider you're now stepping into the mid game as a player. I mean, you were kind of, you had, might've had one foot in it right before that, but both feet are in at that point. Um, and, and normally I don't do anything about like mid game, uh, in terms of guides and stuff. Although that's, you know, there's, there's definitely a different, uh, you know, premise in the mid game and a different priority on how you should be, you know, handling things. No, not, not with a capital S, it doesn't. Not with a capital S, it doesn't. Lowercase S, sure. Uh, but I mean, other than that, I mean, the only thing we're not doing here is is spending money on the game on this account. So we'll be trying to, you know, unlock uh, solid champions, we'll be trying to, you know, push complete content, but we're going to go past Baldur's Gate this time and see how things slow down from that point. Yeah. Yeah, go read about bully for you. Go learn how to bully a bullywug. minutes left on this and I probably I don't know we may go into the 15 minute ones after that I don't know that we're going to spend two hours in this run yeah the strong core is like so far my best use case scenario on my main account is just to support Carlock with the strong core I don't I don't know that I use it, I've ever used it with anybody else. Uh, I'd probably work with Krond. I might be good with Kron. The problem is is like some of the other cars cores are so generically strong that they end up being better than the niche cores and a niche core, like a strong core that should be about melee and strong champions, doesn't uh, doesn't deliver. Or at least just about strong champions. I don't think it needs to be about melee. Like the magic core should have been about ranged champion, or like magic based attack champions, and only support the stats that support magic attack champions if you're going to do stat based buffs. I gave a lot of stat based buffs and, and is good for some melee champions, which is real weird. Like, yeah, so they kind of missed the mark on some of those, and I don't know that they're ever going to rework cores, which I feel is almost unfortunate feel like really putting those into their niches kind of like you would a champion would only make the game better Ground core and leveled it to 15 because completionist and I've almost never used it since yeah I, Lee I didn't I didn't use it until Carlock came around yeah, it just ran. It just was had an automation setup with white pipes and ran a background party, and now it's but now it's a swappable option with some supercharging for when I use Carlock. But it's not a 15 mode run chest person. It's a, it's a 14 mode run chest purchase because you start off level one, so you only gain 14 chests on the way up. I wish I can't wait till they have a tool tip here that's like these. Show me the potions that are active, please. Nine minutes, all right. Let's see if I can remember that this time. Seven after.
use it for Zerial because of the chance to work with her, but I would suggest for fun. Well, there's the thing. Carlock, Carlock can do all Zerial stuff. So again, it becomes a Carlock core. <laughs> Yeah. There's more gold fine. That's what we wanted. We haven't even made Archon show up over here yet, so we haven't earned a lot of gold yet. I mean, I could make him show up by putting a point here, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just on principle. Can easily afford it, but it's the principle of the thing. There's principalities involved. You know, another ad break in about a minute. Remember, we do schedule ad breaks, so usually I try to stop answering questions from chat so nobody misses anything, but... Uh... And also then we don't have pre-roll ads on when people join us. And, you know, that's help uh, make this uh, more sustainable income for me to buy my groceries with. <laughs> to buy my groceries with. Oh, did I even use my own? Oh, no. I didn't. Cuke Cert Sofa. I'm not sure when they started uh, certifying sofas with cucumbers, but apparently that's what today's code about is about. Should create off talk is topics to speak about during ad breaks for us who don't get them. Well, well, I mean, sometimes we talk about other stuff. Sometimes I just take a snack break. It just depends. Oh yeah. One EO five, so we've entered the EO five realm. And we're only in the one thirties, so that extra favor already doing a lot of work. The weirdest mattress you'll ever buy from an ad in a podcast. Cuke cert sofa. Yeah. Yeah. Today's episode of Idle Chatter brought to you by Cuke cert sofas. Cuke cert sofa is a wholly owned subsidiary of American Sawdust. Wait. It's owned by a penny? What? <laughs> Oh, uh, no. No. Big sawdust getting their hands in everything now. What do you think they? What do you think they fluff the uh, the cushions and fill the cushions of those uh, cucesert sofas with? American sawdust. Yeah. American sawdust. American sawdust, fully biodegradable, and it smells great too. Find it in Cukesert sofas today. Yeah, see, instead of memory foam, it's just it's sawdust. Hey, Lydia. Yeah, it's all 
That's what a Cuke Cert sofa apparently is. It's a, it's another name for being green certified because it's a fully biodegradable and renewable resource. <laughs> a great commercial. Was it for American sawdust? That that one? That one? <laughs> There's also, hello and welcome to Movie Phone. <laughs> Disclaimer made. No, I don't know. I mean, you're not going to spontaneously combust sawdust. That would take a lot. I don't, I don't know that that would. Yeah. Country music radio station. Oh, I'm a radio station DJ now. I mean, I did, like I said, I, I like I said before, I was a, a an a internet radio station DJ for Galaxies Radio back in the day, just for fun. It was just a volunteer thing for Garwar's Grooves. I played like funk and hip hop and rap stuff. Yeah. Does permanent bus and blessings work for events? Yes. So, uh, but the one, the ones that are going to work are the ones here on the right hand side. Double damage, gem hunter, anything over here can work, works everywhere. But the stuff on the left hand side only works in that campaign. So that's how you keep that in mind. I really think about it initially, man, these freaking event variants are a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. If you're trying to do like the, the especially the tier four stuff, yeah. And they're just like high end patron variants. That's really all they are, is you know, they're in they're end game patron variants. Start playing. Welcome to the game. Uh should focus on getting most of the permanent buffs which are doing events. No, 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 no. Just dive right into the event. Just dive right into the event. The event is limited time, so uh, hop on in. The water's fine. Your your goal with an event is just to uh, try to un primarily to unlock the new champions, and then basically to try to finish like tier one of their content. And you don't need the blessings for that. You just need to earn some favor in the event. Um, and you earn favor by doing like a push like this, where you just try to go as far as you can, earn as much gold as possible. Um, that's the job. Uh, and then here is, uh, there's my guide to this event, which basically has, it has some general tips, general event info, um, and then it's got links to guides for all of the champions. And those guides have, you know, tips on doing their variants. So whichever, whichever champions you unlock, I highly recommend, obviously you're going to grab the Dark Urge and Daddies. Those are the featured champions. I highly recommend grabbing Briv as your flex slot champion and if you've just started you may not have the time gate pieces to get to get anything else because these these other locked ones are going to cost time gate pieces but brave with your free one will we'll get you set up in a good spot uh, to progress in the short term and the long term but Uh, but what I do is I do as much of the event stuff, like I've, I've already done all of this event stuff. I did tier one of the event. That's as much as I can get done. This is a this is 30, 13 days into a new account. That's as much as I could get done for each of these champions. And that's fine. Uh, and then, I, I, and then I'm going to go back and do other stuff. So I just, I went back and I opened a time gate because I had a lot of time gate pieces. Um, but I also, I'll, I'll hop back into like Tomb of Annihilation is where I'm at, so... I'll go back to doing that once this uh, once I finish this time gate. Oh yeah, this is kind of pointless, but whatever. Gotta get past it to get to the good stuff. Oh, we get a feat now for crawl. Okay, so right away the the priority feat for crawl uh, once you once you unlock your first feat slot is actually venomous touch increases the chance of virulent strain triggering by fifty percent because virulent strain is only a ten percent chance. So this is going to bump it to fifteen percent. So it's going to happen more often. So instead of a one in 10 chance, we're now up to what? One in seven, six, six, something, six, seven. Uh, it does make a difference. Uh, and eventually, you know, out of gold chest feats, what we want 
is increased toxicity, but that's completely random. And that will double it again. It's a hundred percent more. And that takes us to 30. Uh, those are, those are what you, those are what you love. That was what you love. Uh, Nibbles there, best rap for daddy's a smart companion's achievement. I did it today on the tutorial show. Uh, you want right hand spec, you want sword coast, put him in this middle column. I just put him up here where Minsk was. And then you need people if with the right hand spec of oh, his second specialization, right hand spec. So use smaller words, brings the int requirement down to 12. Uh, do set this, set it all up on turn off auto progress, set it all up on area one. Fill the formation with int 12 or higher champions, uh, and then go 100 levels. Clear 101 at that point once you turn the progress back on. Uh, but yeah, I did it live this morning on the tutorial show. Just to prove it, to prove you could do it. Yeah. I hate that curl feet because it avoided me for so long. Hey, virulent toxicity avoided you? I mean, normally that's a good thing, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's, you want that one. You want that one. I wish you could make like, oh, God, I got an itch. A itch. Oh, no. Um, right in that spot you can't reach, you know? It's the worst. Um, no, 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 no. Well, I've got to get a back scratcher or something. Uh, <laughs> I'm not flexible enough to hit that spot. Um, I wish there was almost like a way you could wish list certain feats. So it, and it, and it like increased the chance that, that that one would drop out of gold chests. That would be cool. I don't, I don't think they'd ever bother, but with, you know, the more champions they had, it just keeps diluting the pool of gold chests that are of gold chest feats in the game. It makes it even harder to get anything specific. It'd be neat. Doubt we'll ever see it. Oh yeah, where we at? Hey, we doubled our favor and we're still a good 20 levels away from where we were last time. So we should see a serious boost. We should hopefully we're in the EO fives. What I would love to see is EO seven, but we may only get into the EO sixes. We'll see. But with crawl now online a bit, uh, with some good wave clear and Dalina. I, I, that's what I said. You heard me. Uh, <laughs> we should see. We should see maybe some better progress this time around. Chimit champions, would you put the most item levels into after Briv? So if you are a newer player, uh, I really feel like if you're trying to be efficient, uh, all of your tokens should just go to Briv. Um, if you're, you know, a more experienced player, you've been playing a while, mid game, late game. Um, oh, your Briv is six jump. Uh, Briv. Briv. Cause you're going to get, you're going to want to get him to seven. I think seven is the next break point where you can reliably, like you, instead of locking him at a four jump, you can, you can actively start Briv gem farming at like a perfect seven jump, I think. Is what I'm told. Letty asks can I have more information on that. Um, so yeah, just kid, just Briv. Briv is basically uh, where no matter almost no matter where you are in the game, uh, Briv is a priority target for all of your tokens this event. It's weird. Um, it's weird. Uh, on this account, that's exactly what I'm doing. It's just everything's go all everything's going on Briv because. Because my daddy is, you know, he got he actually got an epic, and that's fine. And he'll get this blue from Electrums. I don't need to get him anything else. Uh, Dark Urge got all blues in an epic. I didn't buy any packs for them. So, yeah. Six is slower than four right now. Yeah, four is... Five and six are slower than, than four. But seven is faster than four. And then eight is a big increase. And then you ride eight until you get to 11 is my understanding or no, or nine jump, excuse me, nine jump. Uh, but then after nine jump 11, like nine jump is the next, like four is the next thing. And then 11 is the one after that. I think it's yeah. 
things start to get, you know, Latioth really needs to make Latioth really needs to make a, like a guide about all of these breakpoints. Uh, I'm just piling work on Latioth, but you know what? I get to. <laughs> I have a, I have over a hundred and seventy guides on the Idle Champions subreddit that are fairly well updated. I think I'm gonna ask Latioth for one solid guide on brim jumping. <laughs> I think I've earned it. Hmm. Like for, even for most end game players, nine jump, uh, especially scriptless nine jump is the end. Eh, maybe, maybe. I think this system could have opened up a lot of opportunities for you know scriptless people to go past if they were at nine already to go past it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, look, Sam, uh, Briv, uh, automated Briv gem farming is difficult. And that's why, like, that's why, like, a really good guy that just breaks everything down and makes it, you know, really understandable and accessible for people is what's going to be needed to kind of increase the number of people doing that. Now, now this is, I don't think that's something that CME necessarily wants to see happen, but, but it's something that would almost, you know, would f potentially force their hand. And have that make them make a decision because the more people start adopting something, the more the more uh, problematic it becomes, and uh, and the higher the chance they actually decide to to change something about it. But yeah, I stopped at four jump on my main account. Uh, and just like totally gave up on going past that because I thought you had at the time, at the time, no one had really done the research to find out where the other breakpoints are. Like that seven was good and that eight was good. I thought you just had to get to nine. Um, so I just gave up on it because I was like, well, I'm not doing that. It's way too far. <laughs> That's way too many uh, blacksmithing contracts to save up and just kind of. Uh, halt my overall item level progress across my account. Um, so instead I invested into a lot of champions, a wide variety of champions. I don't regret it, but, but if I'd known about seven jump, I might have considered it at the time. Nine is uh, 127,626 uh, 127, item levels on a golden epic Theodinarax, but you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't be trying to get to nine jump on anything other than a golden epic, because <laughs> then it, the numbers go up from there. Numbers go up from there. Nothing until 65 here, so... I need to stop leveling up like this. Okay, 250 would be good. The best in brute on I don't know, Lediath. If you don't want to, here's here. I will throw this out. I don't. I don't throw this out often. But if you have all of the information, if you've got all of the math. And, and areas, like, and, and good areas to go in, and you don't want to put it all together in a guide, then we can talk. <laughs> like, on Discord or something. Uh, maybe we could tag team something. It is, is it on a guide on Reddit? Is it? Last time I looked, they did not have all of that information. The last time I looked for a guide on Reddit, it was just about converting over from Minsk to... Uh, to Neris. That was the only thing I could find. Oh, I know why we slowed down. The Fire Breath Potion wore off. I totally forgot about it. I'm like, why aren't progress sitting out so much? We're not near where our wall was before. <sighs> Hey, at least I forgot. At least I, I, at least I didn't check it again. Like, oh, what? How much time do I have left? I just totally forgot.
I would suggest Latias posting a brand new version. And then do like what I do, where at the top I go, this guide is outdated, and, and I put the link to the new version in it. Because even though you've built up like the search engine reference, you just want to feed that search engine into a modern post that, that when you post it, everyone's going to see right now and know that it's recent. I can't always do that with mine because when I start updating a lot of guys, it looks like I'm spamming the subreddit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not great. Um, people don't appreciate that. But, you know. How about a May targeted mid-May? I mean, if that's if that's when you think you can get around to it, you, you know your schedule. So. Well, these guys to make your Briv farm better. Yeah, a Briv jumps for dummies is really what... Yeah. And I mean, you know, and the Zeke's guide attempts to do that, but there's there's just a lot of information to process, and I don't know that it really makes it as accessible as, as it kind of I would like to see it. Um, yeah. Yeah, bonus points is the guy explains it to me like I'm six. That's the whole point. Like that's that's what I try to do with all of my like one oh one guides is really just make it as like as if as if the person reading it doesn't understand any of the core concepts because they very well might not. Right? Your VOD explains it from the start. There you go. But that, that's that got to be linked in the guide, right? And you just need to write out a version of it. Because people lear learn different ways. <laughs> Some people need to learn by reading. Some people need to learn by watching. Well, we don't, we don't talk about scripting. So... That's scripting is the Bruno. <laughs> the vital champions. And we don't talk about Bruno. we got coming up for crawl anything the master's call so no increase the damage of arc on the crawl don't care so 280 is the next upgrade for crawl no i mean you could mention that scripting is a thing we just i don't bother talking about the difference between regular and scripting stuff because I don't support scripting on idle champions. I, I support regular play mechanics. That's just me. Cause for me, it just, for me, if, if something like if, if then I'm not, at least with the auto in game automation, I'm still playing the game in a sense, I have to be able to figure out all of these things and know this stuff. Whereas someone else just makes a script for me and then I just copy and paste it and use it. It's like, yeah, I think Volo wrote the guide to scripting. That's why I haven't read it. That's why I haven't read it. Wow. We're actually slowing down around the same place we did last time. I think it's just because that's a giant. So Minsk isn't helping us there. No, I don't know that I was as optimal about efficient about leveling either. Five hundred for Master of Piracy. Right. Yeah, we're still fine on. Oh, sort of fine. Interesting. That's problematic because that boss could just absolutely wreck us. Um in the variant because by then it'll be doing a lot of bonus damage <laughs> a lot yeah scripting is literally a volo thing yeah <sighs> 
Yeah, I, I, I'm oversimplifying it uh, vampirely, but that's because that's the experience I have from other clicker games is copy paste AFK. Do you still use your old clunky spreadsheet? I don't know. I don't know that I ever used a spreadsheet for Briv. Yeah, I don't know. If I did, it was a long, long time ago. So, I don't know. And if jump said, oh, before you did it, yeah, then I then I may not have seen it. I remember like I remember punching some numbers into something once when I was trying to figure something out, but I don't remember what it was. Alright, we want this Minsk uh, upgrade for favorite enemies. That'll help us spike our bud to ride through non-favorite enemy zones. Uh, but I really gotta figure out uh, this. Calliope might be next here. Yeah, she's definitely next. Wait, hey, no. Delano will be next. Yeah, we'll just self damage Delano next. Now, I just want to point out we, have, we are pushing fairly far and we've earned a good amount of gold. We're at 648 EO5, which. We're close to hitting EO6 as a total. Um, but we have not... Krull has not come online yet. Krull's been in our formation this whole time, but we have not really seen the power of the battle station that is Krull yet. Because, again, Krull relies on the enemies spending enough time on the screen that they're beating on the tank for a while. We haven't even gotten that far yet. So the, the benefits of Krull, the damage Krull is going to bring, and the gold that Krull is going to bring, we haven't access, accessed yet. So that's going to take us further. Further, excuse me. We're playing Idle Champions. It's not further or farther. It's further. Still got to see if I can get a copy of that, <laughs> that ad. So Azaka farming is a whole other thing. Um, it's not just putting a bunch of gold champions in. That's dirty gold farming. Putting a bunch of gold champions in, gold fine champions in with a fire breath potion and riding a bud spike at your highest area is called dirty gold farming. Uh, Azaka farming is a very specific form. I've got some videos out there for that. On the, I think there might be a highlight on this channel. I might have posted something to YouTube. I don't remember. There's definitely stuff on the Cena Games YouTube from me about it. Uh, nothing recent, but you know the difference nowadays is you can't use Havilar. Uh, but there's other ways to do it. I use a Vi swap is good, or if you just bounce with like Egbert and and maybe you drop a drop one of your gold find champions for a slow from like Grama or uh, or another knockback from somebody. Hello, oh geez. For a second, I thought Lurking Rider joined the chat. Uh, the uh, the chat, JMJ. Hello, Morther. Hello, Forther. Here I am at Camp Gar Gara Warther. Camp is very entertaining. Virgil gives a buff when it's raining. <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, there's some more damage for Dalina. Did it be to post a link? Not really. Uh, you got to be a VIP to do that. Uh, oh, it's the guy that he has. Oh, I, I could probably go find it. Uh, let me check my uh, Reddit Google foo. In-depth, scriptless jet. No, that's from two years ago. No, no, but why is, why is Reddit failing me? 
Why can't I? Why can't I remember what? What? What are the numbers after Zeke's again? Oh, you found it. Okay, there you go. I can never remember the numbers that are after Zeke's name anymore. Six forty. I was thinking sixteen forty. See any off by one error, right? I put a one at the front of it when I shouldn't have. That's off by one errors, right? <laughs> For their score and seven years ago, CNE brought forth upon this uh, internet a new video game. Yeah, when in doubt, whisper it to somebody with VIP. We get the champions from the event as a new player. Is there anything else I need to? Uh, well, you want to you want to have enough favor. To do their variants, like each the first three variants, like the three variants they have in tier one, will each reward you with a gold chest for that champion to help get them gear. Um, so yeah, it was, requires get earning some favor, uh, which means deep runs in the event. Usually, I do those deep runs on the the champion unlocks. Um, but then, then once you once you've done that, then then you're done with the event. Like, like I'm currently done with the event because I've done this white star means I did tier one for each of these champions. Uh, so in three days and twenty two hours, I'll be able to unlock another champion, uh, and I'll be able to do their stuff, and then I'll be done again. After the event ends, how much longer until the next one? The the events start. Uh, it's a variable time because events start now on the first Wednesday of every month. And then they last for three weeks. So the next event will start on uh, Wednesday, March 3rd or April 3rd. Excuse me. We're in March now. Wednesday, April 3rd ad break and break. Uh, okay. I need to find out who we need to level up next. 240 to 280 is a hundred. 330. Oh, yeah, I'll we'll do that. Yep, there we go. Got it. Ale hydrate. This is 500. Yeah, 500 for Crusader's Mantle. Which is only a double, a double boost. Three twenty for some more health. Charles also needs five hundred for more gold find. Clavin needs five twenty-five. Yeah, five twenty-five for damage. Nowhere near that at the moment. Mints three ten. Yeah, we're just a ways away from everyone. On sixty-five still for. Getting closer. Getting closer. This is the point where I don't really want to just dump levels in because there's an upgrade. I want to. I want to be really efficient with my my spending of my gold that I'm earning, and only give myself uh, upgrades that are help me push forward. Zok is a stunlock boss mechanic. It is now, or you can use Vi. Vi can turn a random enemy into a crystal sphere that sits on the ground, and then you just swap her out, and the crystal sphere stays. And you can farm that. Well, the reason, Lydia, the reason uh, Zeke's um, guide is hard to find is the name. They called it automated briv stacking without scripting. It should have been automated briv gem farming because that's what people are looking for. Briv gem farm. Uh, they named it wrong, unfortunately. Got to keep the names on point. Got to keep the names on point. They talked about allowing you to use more than 50 bounty contracts. So there's a, I mean, it's been discussed, but... The problem is, is all of the stuff that drops on the ground can slow the game down, the calculation and the visual animations. So they have to figure out something to, to get around that. Uh, cause they could literally crash somebody's system if, if it was on the edge or it could just hang up for a long time, which it does for me, even on my computer, it'll hang. If I'm at a high area, 
a calculation for the gold can just hang my system for a while. Get to 900. Nice. Nice, Renee. Always got to naming. Words matter. Yeah. I know it seems like obvious stuff, folks, but a lot of people just don't have experience, a lot of experience doing this stuff. I've been doing this since 2008. Yeah. Not for this game. I mean, just making guides for, for games. Uh, to clarify. <laughs> I've been doing, I'm making guides for this game for six and a half years. Oh no, we died. Oh no, we died. A D and D story. <laughs> A D and D story. Wow. We can only get into the one eighties before we fell over. This is, this is not good for us folks. I was like, Oh, I'm sure we'll clear 200 and we'll get a lot of favor. And no, no, we did not. Um, no, we did not. So we may have to, what is that? Oh, because we hit, here's the problem. These are monstrosities. Minsk's favored foe is currently set to beasts. Uh, this is the, this is the downside of Minsk. This is why I wish I had a sw good swap for Minsk right now as a support. I don't. I don't. We're not even killing things with... I'm not really killing things the way I would like. Oh, that was a, that was a good, that was a good boost. Okay, here's going to be double damage. That's not going to be enough. Because what happens is we're not going to clear off the monstrosities. We're clearing off the random beasts that Minsk is spawning, but that's it. No, Emma, this is this account is thirteen days old. What do you? <laughs> don't have infinite time. I only play it on stream, um, and, and even then, I, there's how would I get all these champions that people want me to have at this point? If it hasn't been in the event, I haven't got it. This is my first time gate. So what I need is a, an area that's. Uh, well, we ran out of click damage too. What I need is an area that is that has beasts. That's really just all beasts. Okay, here we go. So I just need to farm some gold here. Uh, and one of the things I can do is I can pop another quick damage potion. And I can pop a gold fine. I'll spend a 15 minute gold fine potion here. No problem at all. That'll be good. Then we need to hit another good damage breakpoint with somebody. Uh, it's not going to be Crawl or that gold breakpoint with Jarlaxle, but I don't think it's going to be huge. 50% more. Only 50% more. 320 is health. That's not going to help us as much as I'd like. I don't think Minsk has anything. Yeah, 310. That 20 here will give us a triple. We're one away. So here's where we're going with the next upgrade. Then after that, it may very well just be uh, uh, Delano is the best option. Yeah, Tyrell then goes 180 uh, levels before he gives a group buff. I feel like they, like they could, if they, you know, they're just, they, they don't have the time and pro probably don't have the inclination either, but they could smooth out this early game progress curve by making uh, a better path for upgrades uh, than they have. With these group upgrades, getting to these kind of upgrade deserts is painful. Really painful. 
Only 13 days old. So spurt. No, oh, that's 11 days. 11 days. Uh, Renee, E37 emissions are still yellow in which light? They're not yellow. They're difficulty fair. And fair is another word for carnival. And it's the wild beyond the witch light carnival. It's a, it's a joke. It's like a play on They're They're making a joke. That's a play on the fact that it's a carnival and, and they messed with everybody's head in doing so because, but the reality is by the time you get there, um, you should hopefully know the, the difficulty ratings don't really mean much. Uh, but yeah, they broke all the ratings after that because now so many things are hard-coded as fair. But it's a hard code. It was a joke. Um, yeah. I appreciate the joke, but it is confusing for probably too many people and probably should be removed. Probably should be removed. Okay, there's an upgrade for Delana. Uh, let's give Nihali a little more health. 345 for more damage. Burner's probably at nine, yeah, 900. That's usually the way it works. Man, okay, so I want this. I want this extra gold on Jarlaxle is what I want. Interesting. Would have continued to believe that it, if it wasn't for the fact that literally everything I've created uh, since is difficult to fit the whole Xerxes fortune. Yeah, it's just they, I don't know, They I think they copy paste the code and the, then they didn't, you know. They didn't they didn't copy paste the right code and everything broke and I don't know why they don't realize it or fix it. But but they have. It must not be as easy as we think it is to then just go in and change that again. I don't know. But I feel like they just, as they were building out the new campaigns, they just took the code from the prior one to build out the next one, and it was never a problem until until Witchlight came along and somebody decided to make a funny. Somebody decided to make a funny. I mean, we've told them. So, you know, at this point, you know. They just, uh, just feels like they don't want to fix it. <laughs> like, like I said, maybe it's too difficult. Maybe it would screw something up. I don't know. But this is the this is the timeline we're now living in. I mean, whoever did it didn't share with the class because I'm pretty sure Justin and David thought it was a bug. And we're like, it wasn't a bug. It was a joke. Someone did this on purpose. And, you know, cause this is what, this is what it means. And they were like, huh? Did we tell them in a second? Yeah. Yeah. But we also told them on Dev Insight, so. Okay. I think we're now, we're pretty close to the end of the line. What are we at? See, I'm only at like 2 EO6. We really need to be able to push deeper, because I cannot get the gold I need here. Ah, oh, double gold. Double gold. I really want that. Um... Let's see. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Eight minutes left. Now we may 
have to pop some uh, ultimates here. We're going against humanoids, so let's min sculpt and try to spike. Try to bud spike. Here we go. So we got a bud spike, E49. Uh, that lets us, you know, it's E50 health enemies, but that lets us kill them a little faster. Uh, I don't remember that, Thalo. Uh, let's get in. Shows Brave is my first flex spot for the new event. Nice. Who would you say is a strong choice for the second flex spot? It depends on your, your account progress. Um, so like on this account, I chose Briv first, but then I chose Regis second solely because I needed, I needed a second champion in slot two because I'm trying to get to split the party, split the party as we were talking about, it needs two champions in every bench seat and rewards a new party, a Modron, your first Modron core and some chests. So I'm trying to work towards that. Um, and I think it's valid for you to work, be trying to work towards split the party one or split the party two. There is a split the party three. I'm not so, I, I don't prioritize that one as much. Um, so if you've already done split the party two, then, uh, then maybe start looking at some more end game focused champions like Amiria, who helps you push super deep by helping to keep your tanks alive. Um, Alindra is pretty strong. Uh, if you have other heroes of the plains, uh, Tatiana is a speed champion that'll help you, uh, stack up murder stacks on the dark urge. Isn't a speed champion for gem farming though. So it just kind of really depends on what you're looking for and, and where you were at in your progress. But my decisions, Briv was the first one because Briv, but beyond that, it's about trying to get to split the party as quickly as possible. Sometimes the best part of Dev Insights is the shock faces. Yeah. Hey, Lurking Rider. The newest Muppet Show. Oh, I don't know if I saw all of those. Well, you know, the people that are doing the coding in the background might have thought it was funny and that it just a nice little Easter egg, right? And I would agree with that, except for the fact that it then got propagated uh, beyond that. Sprained my ankle, both wrists, and twisted your knee. What the hell? What the hell? That's not the good way. It's not the good way for your weekend to be going. It was just him getting out of bed. Look, I could be. Look, sometimes I just wake up and it's like, what did I do to my shoulder? What the hell? I just slept on it wrong. And then it's then it's toast for like a week. So getting old sucks. Or your body breaking down sucks. Let me put it that way. Because that doesn't you don't necessarily have to be old for that to happen. But. I really want this double gold on on uh, Crawl, but I'd also accept more damage on Delana as an upgrade here if we got there. We're still doing well. We got four minutes of this left. Uh, we're still not even remotely getting close to to EO seven though. This double, it is, God, such weak bonuses at the moment for as much as I'd have to invest into them. They're all double damage. Ugh. Plappies is double. I could get there right now. I could get there right now. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. 
This is this is a problem. Oh. Yeah. Else up to E fifty two. Yeah. So I mean, if this is if we're at E fifty two, we'll have to go back and look at one seventy five, and then try to figure out what the health is going to be at. We'll do that when the potions wear off. Oh, I, I understand by Shakira, but the video game industry is a whole other place. Yeah. Uh, especially when you're dealing with like an indie game. I mean, most Easter eggs that have ended up in video games over time were just a single person deciding to code it in because they thought it would be funny and no, and not telling anybody else. So, all right, maybe 195. I really want this. We had it for 65, nothing, only 80, but it's a triple at 80. It's just that so far off for Mako's. 15 of Mako's levels are like 50 to 100 of other people's. It's, it's wild. Which is, you, you should understand, because he's at 65, while everyone else is like up to 800 in other places. Yeah, I didn't break anything or hurt your head. Good. Good. You missed uh, a little earlier. Uh, Jam Man J posted a, uh, lyrics, and I, for a second I thought you were in chat. <laughs> it was pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and I'm going to read it for you, like your writer. Hopefully it will make you smile. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a play on the forther joke. Hello, Morther. Hello, Forther. Here I am at Camp Garawarther. Camp is very entertaining. Virgil buffs us when it's raining. There you go. I changed. I changed the Virgil line. I like that. I like that flow a little bit better. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I was like, wait a minute. Was Lurking Rider here? <laughs> nope. It was Jam Man J. It was Jam Man J. I don't even need to check. I don't even need to check. It's like 180 levels for him. I don't know why. I was getting excited about 54. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, we're six away from double damage here, but I really want double gold fine. I really want to earn that gold faster, so I'm just going to already spend it. It's not always the best idea, but we're doing it. But we're doing it. What do we got? Wow, I just got a few seconds left. All right, well, we'll try to clear this area... Um, and then we're going to go back to 175. We're going to do some math. I hate, I hate it, but we're going to do some math. Uh, see if we can kill enough things and then we'll sit here and maybe farm for a bit. Okay, there was a good mine AOE. We're not quite getting what we need. I just can't. The visual from Mako's Circle of Death just doesn't seem to pop anymore. There it was. There it was. There's double gold find. All right. All right. Well, double pilfer, excuse me. There's a 10 stack of pilfer there. I want it. <laughs> I'm greedy. I want it. Let's go back to 175, though. So here's what I need to see. Uh, five, 584 E47. Okay. okay. Wow. And for some reason, we're having trouble clearing this level. We went back for this, though. Oh my god. This does not bode well at all. 
This does not bode well at all. Oh, that was better. Up there. Oh, okay. And let's go back up here. Let's see what 199 looks like. Uh, okay, so I got the n numbers. Then we're going to do some math. Uh, but first, first, I've got a bunch of these 15 minute potions, so I'm going to continue to use them. I'm going to use a gold find, or I mean, a, a all champs damage one. Uh, and we'll see. We're going to farm here at 199 with these. Well, maybe we've just pushed past. See what happens. Okay, so we have 584 E47 is our is our is the health that we're going to deal with at area 175. That's the variant. The variant that we have is a area 175 variant. But the problem is, it's at 175, uh, and every five levels, enemy health and damage doubles. So how many doubles? I mean, there's, we're going to see, what, 10 every 50. So 30 doubles. 35 doubles. It's going to double 35 times. Ooh. Oof. Okay. So if we're starting at... 584 E47. Let me put this. Let me make this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Trying to make this easy on myself. So I don't have to try to figure out the math for this. I'm just going to do it straight up. Uh, so the first time it dealt, oh God, the Yeti. Got him. So we did, uh, I did go for the eyes into controlled chaos, which, which, uh, buffs Delana, Delana's damage. And we got him. We got him coach. And straight into it. Oh, straight into a beast area. Good. Good. Okay. So the first time we double, we'll be going straight. I'm just going to treat it as 5 E47. The first time we double, correct me if I'm wrong, that should just take us to 1 E48. Right? Because you're just taking the 5 and adding it to itself. But then we go 2 E48, then 4 E48, then 8 E48. And 1.6 E49, 3.2 E49, 6.4 E49, 1.2, oh, I should, no, I'm going to back up. I'm back up. Because 1.84, if we're doubling this correctly, it's going to be 1.16 E48. The only large numbers, I gotta make sure I'm getting the extras. 4.64 E48. 9.64 E48. 48, right? Yeah. Then 1. Point... Point 0.83 E49. 0. 0.6. Uh, 6 E49, 7.32 E49, 1.46 E50, oh, I screwed myself up, that's what I'm going to start, okay. 2.92 E50, stop it, Garwin, okay. 
E51. 2.3, and we're right back into the thing. So it cycles. Cycles every EO3. We start getting the same values over and over. Okay. Okay. We're up into the 52s already. Good to know that it cycles like that. No idea what's going on with the game. <laughs> oh, one point. One eight four one eight. Yeah. So I said with six. Fifty four. We're into the fifty fours now. I just need to. You know what? I just need to copy this. Like this. But then this is a four four four. Five, six, six, six. Okay. And then that will be seven, 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 eight. So if I did this right, our our health target, oh, we're in an ad break. Our health target should be 183 E58. So our damage needs to be E58. Big. That's going to be a big difference than what we have currently. <laughs> it feels like it's close, but it's not. not. What is it not? Uh, e54 when we're spiky, when we're spiky. Uh, boy, but that's about Elliot. Did we just get a double there? We did. We turn. Yeah, okay. All right, we're back from the ad break. So for those who missed it, because we were on ad break, I believe the health total that we're shooting for, the damage that we're going to need, the health total should be 183 E58. We're in the E58 range, so we need to shoot for E58 damage. By the time we get to area 175, we aren't even there and we're past 200. So currently, like at this current favor, yeah, we definitely would have failed the variant we're trying. Definitely would have failed the variant we're trying. They're copy pasting code around to show that difficulty for each campaign they have bigger code quality. Issue. Not really. If the code works, why would you recreate it? Like you would make a you would make a, a like a core call, like you know, you're gonna reference this bit of code with a command line or whatever, like this is when I was doing code and which has been a while. But you don't you don't recreate code over and over and over again. You just call the same function, right? So they just created a new function, and then for whatever reason, somebody started calling that instead, and and it's hard coded instead of based off whatever the whatever the uh, formula was under the old version, which is the problem.
that rat catcher. Get him. Hit him, Delana. There we go. But yeah, I think it's just because, you know, somebody did it and then nobody told anybody else. Oh, Vampire Lee. Look, that's the better accident. Honestly, that's the better mistake to have when you're changing oil. Honestly, to have the filter come off over the rubber gasket come off and you not notice it. Uh, back in the day, I had, a, I had an old car. My first car was a 1973 Chevy Nova. And I used to just take it to... I didn't have this stuff when I was in college. I didn't have the things the things I needed to change the oil myself. So I'd just take it to like a, you know, a Jiffy Lube, right? Except one time when I went in, uh, when they went to screw the new filter in, they screwed it up and basically screwed up the threads in my engine so that, you know, when you first start up, it's fine. There's no leak. They didn't think there was any problem. But once it got warmed up, the oil would start leaking out of the car. <laughs> and I, so I had to start carrying around a case of oil in my trunk. Uh, and every time I stopped places, uh, like after a good long while, but I mean, still, I would have to like, oh, well, time to add another quart of oil. But ultimately that destroyed my engine all because I took my car to a Jiffy Lube and the moron stripped, stripped the, uh, the oil filter, uh, whatever, the place it screws in. This is so, so upset. So upset. Yeah, I'd much rather they screwed up and left the gasket in place. Well, it's like, you know, I I had I knew how to change the oil myself. It's it wasn't difficult, but at college I didn't have like I didn't have a drain pan. I didn't have like I, I I couldn't keep this stuff. It wasn't like I had a garage I could go to. I'm just parked in a parking lot on a campus. And I did a lot of work on my car in parking lots on campus before. And one of the parking garages once I literally took the old exhaust off and put an entirely new exhaust on from the engine all the way back. <laughs> uh because I had to. Because that was the only way I could afford to change my exhaust, and it had it had completely broken. Um, but the other stuff just couldn't make happen. You lost your drain plug one time? Oh. But yeah, after that, I started going to actual dealerships to get my oil changed because they had a bit better of a uh, uh, kind of a like, you know, well, we worked on your car. We're uh, accountable for the, the things that happened to it kind of situation, at least where I was. Oh, uh, boy. Can't get another. There's no more piracy. There's no more gold find. There's no more gold to be found. 550 is more right now. Yeah, let's get more right now. Yeah, I didn't have a trusted mechanic back then. This was San Diego when I was in college. So, yeah, now it's now with the with the car war with the new car, it's a dealership because it's covered under <laughs> it's covered under the uh, the purchase of the car. It's free oil changes for a certain amount of time. And yeah, I mean, my, my mom had a mechanic that she used to go to with certain cars, uh, 
But then she got a car that the mechanic recommended she buy. And then they're like, oh, but we don't work. We don't, we don't service cars like that. Like, way to get rid of a customer. Way to get rid of a customer. What the hell? You just don't want to, you just don't want us to be your client anymore. That's fine. Have a, have a compass. Haven't had a reason to. Why would we? We have newer cars. We just cannot kill this thing. Okay. It's fine. Oh, I know why. Because uh, the, the potions were off. The potions were off. We'll go another round because I really need to just get as much gold as I can from this. 445 EO6. Man, if I could get to EO7, this would be amazing. I don't think we can. I don't have any other way to get any power here. And also, you know, I've had one of like, oh, I'll do that for you, like a friend that worked on cars. That's not always great either. Same car. I was going back to college and my parents were like, you need to get new brakes. And and we were having a discussion. Well, one of my friend was, was over uh, for dinner and he's like, well, I can do that. I've done that before. And I'm like, all right, well, we'll give you, we'll give you the money and you, you do it. Because, you know, that's a better scenario. Uh... Was buying the parts and then an extra twenty bucks or whatever for labor. He was like, "Yeah, sure." Uh, but what he forgot was because he wasn't a mechanic. Is <laughs> you gotta get the drum, the drum brake car. You gotta get the drums rounded at the parts store. You gotta ask him. Hey, I need you to round the drums for me. Hmm. It was it was the worst situation? It was the worst. I don't even want to explain to you what it's like to try to stop a drum brake car that doesn't have rounded drums. Just know, it's the worst. I mean, you can stop. You'll stop just fine. The experience of the stopping is not fine. It's 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 bad. It's bad. Your car basically is like. Brake, slip, brake, slip, brake, slip, brake, slip, slip. So you just do, 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 every time. Just the whole car shaking. Do, 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 do. Well, we're stopped. Uh, <laughs> and because I was literally driving, once he got it done, I was picking it up, and then I was driving it from Oregon to Southern California. It wasn't like, and I didn't have any money to stop along the way and be like, "Can you fix my brakes?" Oh, woof. It was rough. It was rough. So yeah, I started doing a lot of my own stuff over time. I did some of it. I had done some of it already, but uh, like on that car, I could... Uh, ooh, pain. Triple pain. We like that. Uh, on that car, uh, like I, I rebuilt the carburetor. I guess that I put an entirely new exhaust on it. Did a bunch of electrical stuff, installed, relocated, and installed the stereo and speakers and amplifier. Just over time, learned all my own stuff for it. Okay, so this is pretty good. Two and nine. We, we got to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. We gotta keep pushing to get more gold though. But we're at 5 EO6, so that's great. That's up from uh, 239 EO5, so we got a good push. Like I said, I wanted EO7. I didn't think we were gonna get there, and I was right. I was pretty much right. Not without a lot of work, but this work is worth it. Uh, because we need this gold to get past this variant. I don't want to just do another. I don't want to take this and then go do another free play. I like to get everything I need here, if possible.
Uh, pulling the engine and the transmission, put them into a car with less rust. Oh yeah, my car was had a lot of rust. But puts the potion on its skin or it hits the wall again. Oh no. Oh no, why do I like that so much? Oh no. Oh boy. Okay, what I really want is triple pain, which is going to be right over here in four more levels. So that's basically uh, that triple that triple the pain debuff. That's going to be the biggest bang for our buck. Normally, I would like to pair using stacks of potions like this with a speed potion of the equivalent size, but I don't have a lot of them. Uh, it's just that would make the push that we're getting out of this, the, the use that we're getting out of these, so much more effective. Um, we just don't have that many, so I'm having to, to scrimp and save. I'm willing to throw a lot of these at this because we need this, but we just got, we got bad luck with this time gate and that they gave us the 175 variant. If we had gotten the 75 area, 75 or area 125, we'd be done with this already and we'd be back to regular campaign. But because we got the hardest one, like the highest area level one, and it had a really bad restriction. We have to invest time uh, into some gold farming to get favor. And then this is kind of just the best way to do it. There's triple pain. There's triple pain. So now all the red vials are going to do even tri three times the damage they were doing before. Let's go take a look at Crawl. What's he up to? 1200% more damage per stack. Which means at 10 stacks, the enemy is now taking 12,000% more damage than normal. It's a lot. That's a lot. We like that. All right, next upgrades will go on to Delana. Only double damage, but we'll take it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to mince this for... Potentially bud spiking. Have the Delana Ultimate too. We didn't get as much as I would have liked. The health here is E57, and we're at E53 damage. And again, our target is E58. But the problem is, all these wolves aren't going to, all these monstrosities of the winter wolves aren't going to die because they're monstrosities. We're only able to kill the beasts here. Ah, Tyrell, you didn't even hit the things we needed you to hit. Learns T pain. Is that triple pain? T pain? I'm at a wall, mother. <laughs> I can't really see that. It's like, I'm on a boat. Oh. That's the first song I think of with T-Pain. <laughs> so you could go, isn't, doesn't he do like a uh, shoddy buy you drinks, a shoddy buy you a potion? That would be the Battle Champions version. Triple Pain. See, this is potion rationing. See, this is why you hoard. So later on, when you've got enough of them, you won't need to use them at all. Wait a minute. <laughs> is this the last champion you need before you can do split the part? No. This is just a key champion along the path. This is my sixth champion. Like, this is my sixth uh, two in, in one slot. This, this made this button show up, but we're still six away. It's 
So at 80, we get a solid upgrade over here for Mako's. Uh, which is a triple damage. I am tempted to respec him, but... And see if he could push us further. Further, excuse me. Forgot where it was. Mm, yeah, there's just nothing but double damage for a while. This is just not a great place for her. Not a great place for her. For us to have ended up at. We're just in a real big well. I don't have any skins either. That didn't make me go further. It was making me go so much further. There's still free champ codes that float around. Not currently. Not currently. Uh, I think I've got a couple Dahani codes from her season. From newsletters, from alternate accounts, but... There isn't anything that's just out there. Like, that's usable by lots of people or one-time use codes. I mean, I kind of am Lurking Rider. I gotta do that first and then go into that. 56. I think the last thing we do here, because we were just testing Dell on a DPS to see if how well it was going to work, and it works well with Krull. It does. Uh, the problem we just have is general overall damage. Uh, so the question is then, if we if we go back to single target Makos, is, is Makos going to have more bang for a buck at this point? We do need to test that before we stop. But we did get a good... Uh, damage spike well it started to be good it was good on the last level and then it just fell off here unfortunately so this ain't gonna happen Ooh. I, mean, I don't know we could get some good well no if we could get like one kill with a good pain stack transfer can't give up on the letting giving it time to build up the pain stacks is Something you want to be able to do here. But, um, yeah, every time Krull attacks, if he hits an, an enemy that uh, doesn't have all three um, vials, he'll add a vial. So the longer you can keep uh, this type of situation alive, the more chance you are you spread stuff but then you still have to be able to kill at least one thing or else or else that happens or else that happens do i like dritz i did dritz is another option to test uh are there wolves on the, are there winter wolves on this one no this is beasts there are yeah okay so 211. uh let's test before we swap specs on mako's Let's test Dritz. Dritz doesn't uh, respond to Hitch, though. <laughs> Dritz doesn't respond to Hitch. Um, and he gets no buff from Hitch, so I don't think that's going to be any better. Yeah. We're effectively down a whole buffer because Delana isn't going to buff, and Hitch won't really buff them when they're in here either. Uh, oh, well, that's better. 53s. We got some all champs damage off of Hitch that wasn't there for for Dalina, but we're still in the E53 range. Still in the E53 range. 
which is a problem. Because remember, we need E58 on our on the boss level. On 175, we need E58 to get to, to beat the variant. We did that math. Too much for us. A little more damage out. Tritzed. It's like it's Jamila time. Oh god, I mean I'll try her. Once again, we're running out of potions. We'll do this again. I'll try her. Uh what's her charisma? She actually has 14 charisma, so she'll get she'll actually be buffed by Hitch. Jason Tank, no. Berserker Confidence, we want this. Which is the right hand spec, okay. And we're gonna give her just 30% more damage. Right, we'll try it. I mean, this could be her curve, who knows. So we're at about 5e53 here, consistently. Well, that was 20 seconds ago. Or 15 seconds ago, excuse me. Set a new bud, Dritz. I need to see what your current attacks are based off of. I was probably with somebody right on uh, right on the tank. Would have created a more of a buff. Yeah. There we go. 436 E53. Compared to... Jamila, did you attack yet? That ain't it. 9e46 under her feet. Well, we are almost at another upgrade for her. But we'll wait to see what happens. <laughs> Isn't thank you for seven months with Twitch Prime? Much appreciated. I mean, we haven't even, can't even, there, E51. So E2, we're two orders of magnitude off with Jamila, so. Uh, but she also doesn't have, hold on. That's going to give her more damage. She needs that shield on her. 7 E53. 7 E53. So now that she's got that shield on her, she'll be able to, She that's what buffs her with Berserker Confidence. Um, so yeah, I mean, competitive with Dritz there, but we are right near Dritz's spec choice. For each enemy attacking Jamila or an adjacent champion. Well, we'd have four adjacent champions, so 400% damage at our next level. But Dritz was about to get uh, whatever, you know, his... She was about to get a, a decent damage boost, too. Dritz has the added benefit of, of making enemies miss when they attack. Uh, Jamila does not do that. Does not do that. So not a bad, not a bad place. Gear is pretty equal too. One green, five blue. I mean, this is a, Jamila isn't a horrible option here, but uh, isn't always isn't a, isn't a good one either, per se. Dritz back in. I mean, and that's he's getting the benefit of Hitch, and Dritz isn't really like the full benefit of Hitch. Should I have seven champions unlocked in? Why well, the number unlocked doesn't isn't what we're worried about. the The number of duplicates and slots is the number we're worried about. I have seven champions unlocked. It's just two of them are in slot five. <laughs> like two extra ones are in slot five. Three, two, one, let's jam. Yeah. <laughs> Except it's got to be three, two, one, let's jam jam. That's her nickname, Jam Jam. 
Jam Jam. We're going jam jam in an earlier round. It's sugar, we're going down swinging. Yeah, see, all these work for me. No, jam jam, not jam man. Different, different thing. What do we got after 345? Finale. Nothing. Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. What are we at? 749 EO6. We don't we don't care about anything on hitch until 490. We just need this upgrade for Dritz. We need this upgrade for Dritz to get him his spec his spec choices. Yeah, maybe it's Jam Man Jamila. I don't know. <laughs> Is there any consideration of using dark urge? They are here, and they would probably wreck. Here's the thing. I'm trying to treat this as if I were a new player. Just pop and crawl is my first time gate, so I'm using crawl, and I'm using the evergreens that I've earned uh, before this. Dritz is super early unlock. Hitch is, like, immediate unlock. So I don't really want to use... Uh, I've got I've got Briv over here. I've got dark urge. I don't really want to use them for this. Because someone else may, in the future, may look at this video, because this is going to go up on YouTube, uh, and be like, well, I want to do that, but I don't have those champions, so I'm trying to do it with champions they would have. Run D&D &D and Jam Man J. <laughs> nice. All right, spec choice. It's two and two here. Two companions the hall? Oh, Bruner. I'm like, who's the other one? And Charlax lives in the cat Bruner. Or for two for each drow, which is, you know, so either way here works. Uh, next one, Kings of Hall doubles. Ten percent for each Mithril Hall stack. What are we doing? We're doing gold find by 10%. Let's just tr triple damage right now instead of gold find by 10%. And let's see what we're looking at. What are we looking at? I mean, we're still in the E53s. Feels a little lower than Jamila, actually. Was this piece like 7 E53? That's, that's the problem. Oh yeah, this is not. This is not great. I get out there and rack some face. Nope, she was three. E fifty three. There's an E fifty four. That's just based on the number of enemies stacking up, though. All right, we're in a weird spot where Jamila is actually, you know, a decent DPS for us. It's that one little niche for her. Most definitely is not Jim and Jamila. <laughs> I didn't think so, but you know. Okay, so what we need to then test is uh, if we bring. Well, honestly, let's test. Uh, what if we swap? Make us in here just as a buffer for Jamila. Is that better? Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I haven't even gotten Dark Blessing triple yet. It's close. Mm -hmm. Problem is, these are monstrosities with E58 health. Oof, the eyes, boo. Oh. 
Nope. Or E53. Just ain't gonna chew through E58. And this is this is the this is the kind of damage. This is what we'd be looking at. Or kind of health. 183 E58, so. This is roughly the health we would need to get through in the variant, and we just can't. Is this one? Oh, it's E56. Yeah, we just fall off real far. Okay, so given that situation, what if... What if... We respec... Makos into Dark Luck. Oh, I'm just to make sure they reset. What's Makos's damage look like? He attacked 169 E54. He's in a better curve. He's still in a better curve than uh, than the others. He's in a better curve here than Dritz or Jamila. Uh, yeah. Or Delana. So Makos just comes across. And right now we're going to get him another double damage uh, at his next upgrade. He was right there. He was almost there. But still, that's still a ways away from what we need. Because we need to be able to kill E58 pretty instantly. We need to be able to at least click through it like this very quickly. Uh, where are we at? 8006. I mean, we've gained an order of magnitude of favor, and that may very well make the difference. Um, Echo's got nice curves. Well, he's got good early curves. It's the horns, right? It's the early curve. Oh, we got like three minutes left. Oof. This, I thought we were going to finish this today, this variant today, and it just may be that we spend the entire stream just trying to get the favor to do the variant. Welcome to early game of Vital Champions. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Two e fifty five is pretty solid. Let's hop up here. I want to see. Let's see if we can find a like a one eighty three e fifty eight. No, that's forty seven. Is this one? Is this one going to be e fifty eight, or is it just the boss area? E fifty seven. Yeah, not quite there. But we are killing things. Again, thank you for reminding me. I don't want to do this again. All that for gold chest. No, this isn't even the gold chest. But yes, all that just to earn one gold chest. All this work for just one gold chest. Well, after we cleared 200. That gave us a silver. I haven't, I haven't opened it yet. But that did give us a silver, which had a shot at getting us a blue. But we didn't get it. There was a shot. We had a shot. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, that's, that's what we're saying. Well, there was a chance there. Uh, but now, oof. it's like we're just gonna. You know, we did kill a couple things. There we go. 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 Give me a beast level right after the. Give me like in the next five levels, just pure beasts. Would give us favored enemy with mints, can allow us to gold farm. Oh, you son of a. That's not what I asked for. That's not what I asked for. There's some beasts there. Well, that's Minsk spawning a beast. Uh, it's garbage. The garbage. We're just so far away from more damage. So far away from me. So far, I just can't see. Like, we can't even hit here. To reset our bud against a beast because there's just not a room. Mm. 
I'm doing it. Oh, for what I'm doing. There. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There we go. We got a bud spike going. We got a bud spike going. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Give me beasts. Well, Minsk is spawning these beasts. That's why his head is on the on the bear. That means Minsk's boastful spawned these. That doesn't mean that there are beasts that normally would be on this area. But Minsk is creating his own. Minsk's calling out. He's blowing the horn. Beasts are answering the call. Wait. He's not a ranger. He's not a ranger. Uh, we're almost to an upgrade for Calliope here. Come on, come on. Now see, we need a we need another spike again. Spike for me. Well, I mean, we got 155, but that's not enough. All right. Do we get lucky with Minsk and Boo going for the eyes? Do we? Do we? I see. I see some damage. I see some damage in there. But I see Nihali taken a lot as well, so this is not great. This is the downside of single target Minsk, where he's targeting a random enemy. Yeah, yeah, all right. If he was targeting the closest enemy every time, we'd be fine. Because that closest enemy would most likely have uh, pain and, and, and traitor on it. And we'd be able to AoE wave clear, but we are not. Now, Makos has got to set something much higher than this off these enemies. Three sixty nine e fifty six isn't bad, but it's it's not gonna it's not gonna get us nine twenty three. All right, we're doing here we go. This is like those turn bait where it's like, well, just one more turn. I'm just gonna take one more turn. Just gonna use one more set of potions. Just one more. Uh, would Moosefril be better? I don't think so because I don't. I don't have the ability to keep his self shield up constantly. It is. It is Moosefril. It is a moose. It isn't an elk. I, I mean, I. We presume because it's a Canadian company that they put a moose in the game. But they put a moose in the game. I just need this last hit. I swear I'm good after this fibro speed potion. You got any more of them speed potions? <laughs> I think everybody in Idle Champions has been there. God, you got any more of those speed potions, man? Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. Consistently setting a decent bud, and this and the health here is E58. So if we can spike against a favored foe, means you know we just need to get into the E55 range for damage by 175, which is 45 levels before this. Because we're not going to be able to access this kind of gold down there. So we got to have the favor. Which is why I'm really trying so hard to get to EO7. I know it's not that much more, but... It's just symbolically... Symbolically, it's, it's a nice game. There's symbology involved in all this. Uh, let me go through feats. Rally. Damage of all champions, yeah. Although, arguably, at this point, we probably want healing. Gold find, yes. Damage of all champions, again, maybe we want Song of Protection. I don't know. Real and Strain, Damage of all champions. Ricochet, yeah. Increases gold find. Let's well, make us 30% of damage. Damage of all champions. Oh, these don't matter. 
And these don't matter. Okay, so I think we've got a good combination of damage and survivability here, hopefully. What would the next upgrade be? The next upgrade would have to be Mako's, right? Hitch doesn't get anything until 490. Well, we're close. We're seven levels away. Three seventy-five for crawl. Double damage for oh, there, there's, there's the, there's four ninety. So this is the ice troll. This is what we have to beat at one seventy-five, isn't it? Oh no, 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 no. that's one seventy. It was the first thing we had a problem with at 170 and look we're having a problem with it again and why did these all have to be human places mm -hmm. Where's the squirrel option then? Now you have a big squirrel? Just a big squirrel. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. Well, we're not really setting Bud here because we're just killing everything immediately. Is cabbage a vegetable? Uh, that depends on the tax structure in the country you live in, apparently, based off last stream. <laughs> based off last stream. So, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, I did. We had this whole discussion last stream about how how's it's not fry, but but neither is a tomato. I mean, but it, but a tomato isn't a vegetable, and yet because of for tax reasons, it's a vegetable in the U.S. Subway makes its sandwiches on bread, unless you're in other countries where apparently the sugar value is considered too high. And then it's a cake. And then it's a cake sandwich. <sighs> For tax reasons. Because they can tax confections more than they can bread, so they're like, they get all pissy about it. Jesus. Now well, crawls the crawling isn't doing anything there, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I was hoping we could maybe just get by this, but we can't. I mean a cabbage should be a vegetable, right? Subway BR34D bread legally distinct. Yeah, certain cabbages could be considered biological warfare. Yeah. How much are they fermented? I don't know. They're delicious and deadly at the same time. Uh, oh, there we go. Now we're killing stuff. Now we're killing stuff quickly. Are we there? We hit one. We hit one thirteen eo seven. So I'm gonna call it here. Subway bread. The cake is a lie. Wait, no, it's it's Subway. The bread is a lie, right? <laughs> Subway bread, all caked up. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? What does that mean? All right. Uh, all right, we're going to call it. We got 114 to 07. 